All right, let's see if we can. I need to get a headshot. Okay, we can hit this biker right in the head. Oh, nice. We just got him. I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's just pull him away from everybody else. Oh, shit. They all woke up. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go out and uh, do that quest uh, that we took in the last episode and ran out of time. Uh, before we can start with that, though, I have an announcement to make. I am going to be out of town starting on Friday, uh, September 9th, and I won't be back until the following Saturday, uh, a week from Saturday. Um, I'm going to New York, Lake Placid, New York, on a business trip. Um, so uh, during that time, I won't have any videos, and I unfortunately don't have uh, pre-recorded videos for you guys either. So what that means is that, um, you know, there, during that time, I won't, you know, be able to to put out any more videos but when we get back we will of course uh pick up right where we left off i'm gonna try and get another after this video i'm gonna try and get at least one more out for you guys this week maybe two depending upon how things go um and i will remind you again in those videos uh that i'm gonna be gone and i'll also post on the the uh youtube community tab to that effect but just letting everybody know um so there will be a a, a week a uh, little over a week's break there, and then when I get back, we'll pick up right where we left off and keep on bashing Zombo heads. Uh, okay, uh, the other interesting thing that you might notice is that if you look right here, I have this new gadget attached to my headset. I am now the proud owner of a Track IR head tracking system. Uh, that does not work in seven days to die, but it, uh, I bought it for American Truck Simulator and for the far and for Farming Simulator and other racing games that. Um, you know, I may play in the future or simulator types of games. Uh, so yeah, cool. And um, not that that has anything to do with Seven Days to Die, but in case you're wondering why I've got some kind of weird contraption attached to my head, that's what it is. It's not a zombie uh, repeller thingamadoodle. That would be kind of cool, though, actually, if you could wear something on your head that repelled zombies. But nope, that doesn't uh, work that way. Okay, anyway, let's get started here. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head if there are any comments from the last video to address and i can't think of any anything that stands out at the moment but if something does come to mind i will certainly uh, bring that up i always appreciate your guys' comments keep them coming and just you know in general thank you guys for for watching you know um it means a lot i really appreciate it i'm glad you guys uh enjoy the content that i'm putting out here on the channel i'm you know i'm a small channel but i'm very slowly growing and my uh my plan for those of you who don't know is uh, to retire hopefully in five years. I'm, I'm 55. Well, I'll be 55 on September 11th, which is coming right up here. Um, and then I want to uh, retire at age 60 and then basically become a full-time YouTuber and streamer and stuff like that. But that's five years more down the road. So in the meantime, you know, I'm trying to build the channel up as much, best as I can. So by the time that five years rolls around, you know, hopefully the channel will at least be, you know, good for um, supplemental income. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I guess that's it for all that stuff, and morning has arrived, so let's go ahead and go thump some zombos. Um, oh, that's 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 what I was going to say. You guys told me in the comments that you can actually repair the motorcycle in the the repair bench, and it's it's cheaper than making a motorcycle repair kit. So I did not know that. I had no idea you could do that. So can we pick this up or does it have something in it? It doesn't. Okay, so let's do that. Let's um pick up the motorcycle here. And oh, heavy. Heavy, heavy Chevy. Okay. Um I'm assuming I don't need the repair kit for that, but uh, well, yeah, I don't because that was the whole point of the comment that you can repair it for less resources in the bench so let's go see what it takes to do that first because that's that's great man the repair bench in this mod is just so useful <laughs> it's amazingly useful um but on the other hand you know uh, subquake has made repair kits ex inc incredibly expensive um way more than they are in vanilla um so 
it kind of, I guess it kind of balances out. Hey, get in there. Here, let's shift click it in. Okay. So let's grab this and stick it in here. Okay. So I need 16 steel plating and 12 pipes. There's some iron ingots in there. Uh, yeah, okay, so what we'll do is we'll turn these into steel. Steel ingot. And how are we doing? Uh, we have plenty of iron plating. We do need to make, actually, hold on a sec. We also need to make some pipes too, which I think we do in here. Oh, that requires iron plating, not ingots. Okay, yeah, so let's go back to making the steel then. Okay, I think it said 16, right? We uh, we should have a whole bunch of ammo in here. Uh, and it's still making up. And this is going to be for Horde Knight. Uh, so we'll let that continue doing its thing there. Uh, I should I should take these over and put them in the uh, the drone over there, just so I don't forget though. Okay, let's grab these out of here, and we'll make some steel plating. Now, what did it take for me to make a motorcycle repair kit, just to compare these two? The motorcycle repair kit was here. Hmm. So it takes 25 steel plating and two motorcycle wheels. Here, you know what? Let's do this. Let's pin that. Are you sure this is cheaper? So it's using less steel, but it's using more iron and pipes. Four bearings, which isn't a big deal. Scrap rubber, which isn't a big deal. It's using a battery, a headlight, same amount of duct tape, one more oil. But we also have to, okay, but but this is using uh, repair kits, and those are expensive, and it's, and we also have to make the tires. Hmm. Yeah, I would say based upon the repair kits and the tires, because we have to factor the cost of those into all of this too, that this is a, a, a little bit cheaper way of doing it. So, yeah, I agree. I think I think it is a cheaper way of doing it. Okay, cool. All right, so we're just waiting for that stuff to finish. We can put all of this in here for now. The coal powder can go in here. Yeah, because, you know, repair kits are expensive. And I think, yeah, and that one's four. So that alone yeah, <laughs> makes that a lot more expensive. And then the motorcycle wheels... I mean, none of this is really that expensive, but still, um, it's really more the repair kits that's sold me on making it cheaper to do it in here. Um, because the repair kits themselves, yeah, I mean, it, it, they're not like unbelievably expensive, but all this stuff adds up, so it all adds up. All right, so we need one more pipe, and then we just got to wait for those steel plating there. Okay, let's repair the motorcycle. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to... Oh, I guess we can just barely move now. Just enough to get on the ladder. That's all that matters. Okay, I think we're ready to set out. How are we doing on food and water? We've got a bunch of champ chowders. We've got a mineral water. How about if we drink a... Let's throw back a couple of yuccas just to top off here. Actually, yeah, we don't even need to do two. Let's just do the one and we'll be good. 
All right, you ready to go, Roberta the Robotic Drone? Do you have anything in your inventory? No. Okay. Here we go. You'd think jumping with this extra weight would really break my legs. <laughs> oh, that was close. We just about <laughs> missed the corner there. The game's saying, what? Breaking, broken legs? Sure, I'll accommodate you. Fully repaired motorcycle. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, we're going to run over to the horde base really quick. And we're going to uh, put the ammo in the turret. And then we'll go do this quest. You know, the other thing I was thinking about too is I might want to put this up a little higher. Um, yeah, we might actually want to put this up higher because I don't want it to shoot me. Um, I was thinking about that the other day when I, when, when I wasn't even in the game, I was just pondering that, um, <clears throat> we don't have the right kind of blocks for it though. And I don't have everything I would need to upgrade these. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do then. I'm going to try to remember to do this, uh, but let's at least put it up here and I guess it doesn't matter which way it's pointing. Cause I think this has 360 degrees of rotation. Or does it? Does it? I don't remember. You know what? Maybe it doesn't. I don't remember. Okay, here. Let's do this then. Can we yeah, do... Oh, I did it again. There. Okay. What I'm going to try and do, though, is when, you know get a concrete block or something and put it up a little higher... Because uh, it can still shoot me in the face where it is right now. Uh, but, you know, the buzzard's going to be up in the air, so hopefully it'll be aiming up high enough to where we don't need to worry about that. Fantastic. Okay, horde base is ready to go, you guys. Uh, it is ready to rock and roll. Uh, we could maybe do a little bit more titanium upgrading, but I'm not really too worried about it. I think we're going to be just fine on the horde night. Famous last words, right? Okay. So, let's go do this quest. It's at that Zomboner place, right? Woohoo! Just right over here around the corner. Uh, this POI, I don't believe, to my recollection, that I have been in yet. So, this will be a new experience for me. And maybe even some of you, if you've never seen it. Zombona! This is a pretty good-sized POI, man. Okay, let's make sure we're locked, cocked, and ready to rock. Looks like we are. You ready to do this, Roberta? How may I assist you? Just by being ready to do this. So, are you ready to do this? All systems go. There How you go. There you go. All systems are go. Okay, here we go. Oh, you know what? We don't need this up here anymore. Oh, shit. That's not what I tried to do. Hold on. I'm trying to get, <laughs> trying to get rid of the... The pinned item. How did how do I get rid of that damn thing? From here? There we go. Okay. Let's reload this. And I think we'll put do 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 I guess we'll put this here. Oh. Let's keep the money in the bike. If we do run across a vending machine, we can always come back for it later. And for that matter, the gasoline too. Is this full? Magazine. Yeah, it looks like it's got... Well, I don't I don't know. Does that tell me that it's full? No, it's not. Okay, hold on. If we have to break something out in there... Okay, I think we're good. Um, the, uh... One of our most important things, as usual, is to get... Um, research data. We need research data like crazy. And you, you guys also told me in the comments, or suggested in the comments, to do more uh, computer salvaging at the um, the disassembly station. Uh, you know, because we do get some 
research data for that. So I will start stepping that up a little bit. So we'll pick all computers and electronic types of things up that we can get for that. Let's go ahead and unlock this guy. Uh, in fact, the next thing too that I want to do is I want to make the lockpick schematic. Then we can just make the lockpicks. Bobby pins have served us well, but it's time to do the other thing. Now we can pick this up too, right? And I'm assuming disassemble it. All right. Why? Where's all the Zeeks? I'm starting to get suspicious. We should have already been rushed by now. Oh, they're probably up there waiting to jump on our head. Look at this place, man. This is cool. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Ostrich Hotel, but not exactly. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Where? Uh, just one enemy. Okay. Any more enemies? All right. Let's go back in here. We'll pick this up for salvaging. And this one, too. Get all that good research data. That doesn't have any charges. We'll check this and this. You guys who have watched me for quite some time now, you, you already know this, but for those of you who might be a little newer to the channel, I'm, I'm a... How do we put it? I, I'm a random looter. I don't loot every single thing. And sometimes I loot things... Just because, just because, <laughs> and then other times I'll pass things up. It's um, that's just the the way I do things. Um, it has to do with prioritization. It has to do with how how much you know. If we're in a hurry, it has to do with um, inventory space, that sort of thing. So you know, uh, I I just I'm not the kind of player that gets everything and you know that you can get. It just that's not the way I operate. So just so you know. Uh, in case you wonder, why is he passing all that stuff up? Well, that's the reason. We will start trying to do a better job, though, again, of picking up electronics so that we can disassemble them. All right, so that's leading us upstairs. Hold on, before we before we do that, let's go back in through here for a second. So that leads into that part of the room, and we got a thingy here. And we have a vending machine we could take apart for parts, but again, I don't think I'll do that this time. Is this... This is a different room. Yeah, it looked exactly like the other one. Okay. Check the trash. Oh, okay. So this just comes... I thought this was leading us to another inaccessible area. I see. Okay, so that's... That's that. Gotcha. All right. And we already went into this bedroom here. So it's time to go up. Up to the next level, baby. Um... Anything in here? Nope. I was about to say these rooms all look the same, and then I was thinking, uh, hotel, duh. <laughs> yeah, they kind of do all look the same. That's the point in the hotel. Master, oh, shit, that scared me. Um, that is a hell of a lot of zombos. Okay, it's time for little friend. And don't yell at me for cornering myself in a room. I just ran wherever I could run. All right. That went absolutely terrible for them. See what I did there? I tricked you guys. Alright, I'll check this. 
Uh, do have to keep in mind that we're after that satchel, which is upstairs. Uh, or on an, up, on an upper floor, anyway. Okay, nothing that direction. We have a crawler, it sounds like. Hey, buddy. My senses have picked up something. This is the place that everybody comes down and has breakfast in the morning. Free continental breakfast. There are no charges in that coffee thingamadoodle. There's a book. We'll take it. Um, can we... I don't know if we can break these things down or not. Let's grab a couple of them uh, in the disassembly station. I, I want to say probably not, but we'll grab them anyways. That's going to be fun going down there because uh, that's where we got to go, huh? All right. Why don't we... Roberta, where are you at? Where'd she go? Oh, she must be, like, stuck below us or something. I was going to make some kind of an attempt. Oh, shit. At being stealthy. Yeah, like that worked. Feral big mama. Oh, I'm not messing with you. This guy killed us recently. He's a bastard. He just plain flat out gets a little friend. That's all there is to it. Feral Big Mama's no joke either, man. Okay. I don't. Why even bother being stealthy? <laughs> it never works for me. Well, yeah, I mean, not for this build, anyways. If I was specced into it and equipped for it, that'd be different. But I'm not. I'm kind of a tank, tanky tank build, so it's not really much point in even trying, I guess. Yeah, puffer coat. Or not, I'm sorry, duster, not puffer coat. Looks like they want us to go outside. What's in here? We're going to have to unlock that door and find out, unless it wants us to go, oh, buzzards. Oh, I bet you that's where they want us to go. All right, let's finish going down the hall here first, though. That is not a lootable, or usable, rather, vending machine. Okay. Just, yeah, we got three Zikaroos. Oh, you know what? We should probably take one of these, too. Are you guys all just normals? Yeah, you're all normal. Oh, no, we got a, a feral big mama. Okay. Are you dead? You are now. If they were normals, I would have been fine, but they weren't. Why don't we also throw back one of these? That'll give us food, hydration, and health. Cut it out. Don't be scaring me like that, man. More uh, sewing kits and books. We love sewing kits and books. Oh, okay. Maybe that's the way they want us to go. That vending machine doesn't work either. Good place to come and take apart vending machines if you needed to for some reason, I guess. Well, for steel in the early game. Okay. 
And we'll check this room here. Okay. Uh, am I missing, like, TVs or computers or anything? I, yeah, I did miss this one. I'm not in the habit of picking these up, so I have to remember to be intentional about it. Okay, I think this is where they want us to go. Up or down, though? Hmm. Well, here, before we do that, I wanted to go out this window. Uh, what, where was that room at? I think it was in through here, right? Yeah. Let's go out this window for a minute. Oh, no, we can't get into that room from over there. Okay. Just looking around. We've already been in here, right? Yeah, that's empty. Okay. So we're not really anything out here. A couple of trash trash thingies to loot. Well, let's unlock this door. Oh, it looks like it's going to be clockwise this time. Most of the time it's counterclockwise. I'd say probably about 70% of the time. It seems that way anyways. Oh, no, no, no. Don't move that. Okay, go back up a little bit. Ooh. Look at this. There's something... down here that we missed? Yeah, I guess we haven't... How did we... Oh, this gets on the other side of this. Gotcha. Okay. I remember seeing this. Okay. So let's check out this floor. Purple football helmet. More books. Always good. Master, we are not alone. Are you feral? Yes, you are. Whew, man. Okay, we are uh, infected, which really sucks. Uh, well, let's get rid of it. Gonna have to go get some more stumps, man. Somebody's, we got somebody's attention from the outside there. Uh, this. Did I miss the one in here? Yep. Oh, crap, that's a screamer. Crap. We don't need that. We don't need screamers. We don't need no stinking screamers. All right, Roberto, what are we going to do about this screamer? Not exactly sure where she is. I don't think she's on the other side of that door. What do we got here? Okay, hold on. Let's not go down there yet. Sounds like she's right outside here. My senses have picked up something. Roberta, what, I, what would I do without you? And your sensors. Um... She doesn't appear to be hitting directly on that wall. 
Alright. Let's go see what's going on down here, man. Very interesting. There's an ammo pile. I got a bad feeling about this. Got some 762s, that's good. This looks, this looks really familiar. Maybe I have been in this POI before and I just don't remember. I remember coming down into a basement with a bunch of washing machines and there's just a metric crap ton of Zeke's in this room around the corner. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Okay, I don't think we can just run in there willy-nilly. We need a plan. We need a plan. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, I know we're not. I think our plan is to retreat back up through here. And then we can take the Zeeks on at this point because they're going to... They're going to all cluster and start trying to jump, and they're not all going to be able to get up there easily. Can we get this repaired, too? Not that it's going to matter. Just in case we need a, a little bit of a rest or something. And we should probably deal with Les Grimer first, too. All right, yeah, let's get rid of her. Because we, we don't need a screamer screaming while we're dealing with that ginormous horde that's going to be down below us. Come over here, Screamy. Here, let's take another one of these, too. I, I want to be at full health. Because if this is the place I think it is, we are going to have a fight on our hands. She almost sounds like she's above us. Right here. Let's go. My senses have picked up something. Let's go back through here. Close that door for a second. Here, screamer, screamer, screamer. you at? Where does this go? Does this go down into that same basement? I think it does, but... The door to it, of course, is locked. Ooh, nice. 23 steel arrowheads. If I could ever find the magazine to make the steel arrows, that'd be great. For crossbow bolts. Okay, let's go back up this way. Are we on the... Oh, I know what we're going to do. Let's get back out on that ledge. Oh, where was that ledge? Because then maybe we can shoot down on top of her head. I don't remember how I got to that ledge, though, now. All right, well, we're back out here. 
We'll just make our own way out onto the ledge. Okay. Make sure our light's turned off. Where are you, Screamy? Sounds like she's kind of down in that direction. Master, we are not alone. She must be like inside the lobby. Must be in here somewhere. Okay, I don't see her on the other side of that. But that's what where what it sounds like she's at. Here, let's go back through here. Okay. I've never in my entire life had such trouble finding a screamer. <laughs> Where are you at? I'm I'm like this is like the invisible screamer, man. Seriously. <laughs> okay, um Let's jump back down here. Sounds like she's like Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. On the other side of here. Or maybe on the other side of this door? Is this door locked? Yes. All right, let's unlock this door. There we go. Is she here in the kitchen? Yes. Whew. All right. That took forever and a day. Goodness gracious. Since we're in here, let's grab a few things. I'm going to have a sip of coffee in real life. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. What else can we loot in here? A little bit of miso. Okay, so she broke through this back door. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. You know, this really has a huge impact on me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, that's awesome. Um, now all we need is a nail gun, and then we can then we can upgrade our, our workstation to a tier three. Oh, that, that was a great find. That was worth the price of admission, folks. That was worth the price of admission. Is there anything in here? Okay. Well, let's get back to where we were before, which is I haven't don't even remember now. We were going somewhere. We came up this way. We got into a room somewhere that led down below. I think it was on the other side of that divider thingy that we found from a ladder in a bathroom. I'm completely turned around. Don't even know where the heck I'm at now. Look for a ladder in a bathroom. That's what we're looking for. Oh, man, I'm so glad we found that impact driver.
Where's that daggone ladder in the bathroom? Is it even on this floor? There's this way. Well, my senses have picked up something. I guess we can go out on the roof for a second. All right. I think this is little friend time. All of these guys are ferals. Are you feral? Yep. Every single one of them, man. Okay, whilst we're on the roof, let's take a quick look-see around. This might be a little bit longer episode, guys, um, just because... This is taking a long time. A, B, I don't want to split it up, and C, uh, because I'm not going to be bringing you a lot of content or any content next week. Uh, we'll just serve up a longer episode. Hopefully, everybody's cool with that. Long episodes on YouTube are, you know, there, there's a mixture of people. the The general length of a YouTube Let's Play episode, at least in my genre, you know, which is survival, is generally about you know, 20 to 30 minutes. My videos are usually a little bit longer than that, but I try not to make them like enormously long. But the thing about it is that some of you like the long episodes and some of you don't, you know? So it's like, well, I can't keep everybody happy. Uh, so those of you who like long episodes, this one's for you, baby. Those of you who don't, well, hopefully you still love me anyways. We'll keep watching. Oh man, I missed that one bad. Okay. I mean, seriously, you can you can always like, you know, pause the video and come back and watch the rest of it later, which I know that's kind of a pain in the butt, but I do that sometimes. Oh. Is there anything in here? Ah, oh, there is. Look at that. What about you? I think you're just a normal Never mind. There was stuff on both of them. Isn't that amazing? Let's get our crossbow bolt back. This goes down to wait is this a different part of the roof yeah we came up on that side i think right that means there might be more zika roos down here Ooh, look at this nope there's nothing behind that that's not a plug Okay, a bed to jump down on and another bed to jump down on, uh, but the light's over here. Let's get little friend ready. We're good. And we got some pumpkin seeds out of the deal. Whoa. Oh, that would have been the other one. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, looks like our satchel's on this floor in this direction. We're probably going to get more Zeeks. Are we fully loaded? Yes, we are. Okay. Incoming enemy. Ah, Prepare shit. For conflict. Come here, big boy. Okay. None of these daggone vending machines in here work, man. What's up with that? What happens if I was an actual guest and I needed, like, you know, a Snickers bar at 2 o'clock in the morning? Because I had to work a 14-hour day, and by the time I got finished working... Oh, nice. There was no... Uh, Nobody open anymore. Yes, I am speaking from real life experience. That has happened to me on more than one occasion. Sucks, too. Okay, let's go around this way. Satchel... Satchel's actually... There. Nope. 
Nice. Okay, we got that part taken care of. Now we just gotta kill everybody else in here. How are we doing on weight? We're doing pretty good. Oh, looky there! Rifle parts. <laughs> Who cares? Okay, so we got another blocked off area there. Uh, how are we supposed to get over there? Probably not from this direction. That door is unlocked. Somebody left some food out on this table. Okay, yeah, we are supposed to be going this way. That door is locked. What about this door? That's locked too. All right, get ready for Master, um, another we wave. If I could get them not all at exactly the same time, I could take some of them out with melee and not use ammo so much. Like that. Just like that. Okay. We already looked in there. That's not lootable. Okay. That's where we just were. Pick up another TV. Was that? Yeah, that's a that's five titanium rebars. Actually, that's a really nice find. I'd be happy finding one. Okay, here's the bathroom with the ladder. Okay. I don't think this is the same floor we were on before, but it is where we need to go. Or maybe it was. I don't know. Have we already done everything in here? No. Yes, I know I haven't picked up every single television, but that's all right. We've picked up enough. If I think about it, I'll grab it. If I don't, I won't. It's that simple. Okay, we've already been through here, right? Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. I think so. Down, down, down we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. There's probably some more rooms we could loot, but you know what? Let's just get this show on the road here. Okay, so I think this is where we came before. And, oh, there's some luckies. What are they? Uh, how are they compared to the other ones? These are plus four. I think we're wearing plus fours. Yeah. Okay. So no difference. Okay. This is where we came down at. We need to find the bathroom that goes down to the basement. Not that one there. Okay. I, I didn't recognize it because we had repaired the door. I was like going all over the place looking for that. Okay, so the plan basically is we're going to wake up <clears throat> the dragon. And then we're going to run back up here. And we should be able to little friend them from up here. Do I have any, any explosives with me? Why? I can't take me anywhere. Why do I not bring my explosives with me? <sighs> Seriously. You know what? This might... Are we going to have a smooth path up here? Yeah, we should. Watch us get caught on this damn bed now in, when we're in panic mode. Okay, we can close that door to buy ourselves a second or two, and that's literally about all we're going to get is a second or two. Where does this go? Let's open it up and see. There we go. Counterclockwise. Oh, that just goes back up this way. Ugh. Right. Okay. I don't think going that way is really going to benefit us a whole lot.
Okay, here we go. You guys ready for the grand finale? I really should start making some landmines too. In situations like this where landmines would seriously come in handy. Now, I don't think... I think this is a trigger situation. I don't think I can pick these guys off one by one. Maybe I can. Oh, this is scary. Uh, look at all those red dots. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can... I need to get a headshot. Okay, we can hit this biker right in the head. Oh, nice. We just got him. I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's just pull him away from everybody else. Oh, shit, they all woke up. What the hell, man? Oh, yep, see, we're in a, a panic. Don't panic. Okay. Oh, wait, are you guys all going up the stairs? You... They're all going up the stairs. You're kidding me. They're all going up the stairs. Um... Houston? What are we going to do? Okay. They're kind of like... Yeah, I should have broke those stairs. I didn't even think about that. I figured they'd just come up here, you know? Alright, can we get over here? Now, pick that up and pick that up. All right. So they don't have direct access to us now. Um, some of them could jump up here, but that's okay. I, I would... All right. What are you what are you morons doing? Get over here. Let's do this. <laughs> wow. Um Yeah, I know. Except for the enemies are not really incoming so much. I might want to actually keep this bed here because it's elevated just a little bit. They don't... I guess they don't... Maybe they can't... Can no longer detect a direct path to us or something? Okay, what if we... Break this out. If I could get um, a hole in the wall to start taking them out, that would be useful. This is very interesting. I'm not even sure exactly where they all are at the moment. I mean, I know their general vicinity because of the red dots, but... See, now this is where I wish we had a daggone explosive. Okay, I see what they're trying to do. Master, we are not alone. Let's put that there. So far, so good. Sounds like they might be trying to break in over there, too. Roberta's watching over there to make sure they don't come through that way. Okay, hey, this is going pretty well. <laughs> We're not out of the woods yet, but uh, we've definitely thinned them down significantly. Okay, so, what's going on, guys? Come on over here. Come get me. 
Okay, here they come. Edgar! Okay. We have one... I've got a bad feeling about this. Two. two. Looks like we have two more. Okay, let's go get him. So that red dot's over that way, and we got a red dot over this way. Come to Papa. Yeah, I totally should have broken out these stairs. I uh, just didn't think about it, but that's all right. We're good. We got this. Here, we'll take the medical supplies. Come on, guys. Let's get this over with. You know you wanna. There we go. One more to go. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, one more to go. Over this way. Oh, there are zombos outside that we've alerted. Okay. I was going to say, where am I hearing My all those footsteps come from? Something. The guy we need to kill is somewhere right in that area. This would be a good spot to kill these guys. Let's help them out. Get off him, Arlene. Okay, now, if we could just get our... our boy... to get over here. Where the heck is he at? Man, this POI has been one big pain in the butt. <laughs> First it took us 10 years to find this screamer, and now we can't find the last Zombo. I just don't know if he's up or down. Well, I don't think he could be down, I don't think, unless there's another room over on that side. Okay, let's go up to the next floor. Well, this is the floor we were just on, right? Yeah. Let's go up another floor. Maybe he ran up there and got... Corn fused about Master, we are not alone. where he's supposed to be. Okay, it's so over this way. No? I can't tell if he's up higher or lower. Let's go up another floor. We'll lock, unlock this. Right there. So every lock we've picked today, except for one, has been counterclockwise. Dude, are you up here? Oh, for Pete's sake. I know I could break it too, but we're still scaling up lock picking, so... Are you on the roof? I, is he? Oh, I've there you are. Feeling about this. Return to Trader. All right, we finally got it. Whew. What a deal, man.
All right, let's go down and get the fat loots. Come on, Roberta. I might need you to carry stuff. Did we check that? Yeah. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of washing machines down here. I'm not sure what kind of loots we get from them. We get cloth from that stuff. Uh, I'm sorry, when I said loots, I mean I meant salvage. Obviously, we're going to get clothes from looting them. Uh, so let's see what we get here. Mechanical parts. All right, this is the usual stuff. Nothing super fantastic. Can we pick them up? Hey guys, we just have our own washing machine now. We can clean the zombie goop off our clothes at the end of the day. Fantastic, man. I love it. Get the paper from that. 45 things of paper. That's pretty darn good. We have lots of paper, but that's okay. We need it. Uh, looks like we've already checked that. Okay. I think it's time for the fat loots. Let's break these boxes. We got a chamois, a popping pills, and a working stiff. And somebody's hungry. What do we got? Oh, nice. Oh, and we got a dart trap. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, what do you guys was telling me in the comments? A couple episodes ago that I should use a dart trap um, facing the, down on the zombies as they're climbing up the ladder. And look at that. And a ratchet, too. That's nice loot. Uh, you know what else we should be doing is popping this, because it's not doing us any good just sitting in our inventory. We need it in our stomach. Yes, indeed, we do. Let's take one of those. And let's actually take this, too, because we are pretty thirsty. And, uh, yeah, good enough. Okay. Uh, Shamway box. Okay, take that, and medical, always happy to have medical. Okay, let's grab the big ammo pile. Yeah, that's a pretty decent supply of ammo, and finally, the chest. And we are going to need, and that's why we're still leveling up lockpicking, but we're always carrying jailbreakers on us for this very thing. Uh, let's just use the lockpick on this one. Okay, here we go. Counterclockwise first, as usual, and there we go. So, I have not counted how many things I've unlocked today. Probably, I'd say, six to eight to ten, and every single one except for one has been counterclockwise. Some time charges. How much is this worth? 375? <laughs> That's kind of lame loot, man. That's kind of lame loot! It's lame, I tell you. Absolutely lame. All right. Um, we better get going so we can do our lame turn in before it gets too late. I'll see you guys over at the trader. All right. What you got for us, Mang? How's it going? It must be How's it going? Day. Ooh, titanium spear. Here you go. That doesn't suck. We can upgrade it, too, if we wanted to. That's like the first actual good thing these dudes have given me, man. Uh, all right. You know what? We don't have time for this. We, we got to go. <laughs> Look at their inventory later. Yeah, we got to go. Horde night's kind of starting, in case you didn't notice. All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go here. We will start up the next episode on Horde Night 91. I'm not, uh, obviously not going to be able to get that dart trap set up, but uh, maybe for the next uh, Horde Night, we will do the dart trap. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. Don't forget... I'm going to be out of town all next week. Uh, I am going to do Horde Night um, for the next episode, so you're going to get at least two more episodes from me. And maybe even a third. We'll see how things go. Uh, but yeah. All right. We'll see you on the next episode for Horde Night. Bye-bye.